Uh, talking about bulking up, I want to be one to give you something to make you feel comfortable here. So we brought a, a little Austrian treat here that we heard you liked. What is uh, this? Is when did uh, you get that? Uh, <laughs> that is in, amazing in, because this in, is Kaiserschmarrn. That this is Kaiserschmarrn. Kaiserschmarrn. I, I didn't know how to pronounce it. Kaiserschmarrn. Yeah, Kaiserschmarrn. yeah exactly. With the, with the powdered sugar on top. And it's like Kaiser unbelievable. So what is what is Kaiserschmarrn? What does Kaiserschmarrn, Kaiserschmarrn, Kaiserschmarrn mean? Kaiserschmarrn translated means emperor's fluff. So it's kind of like pancake cut up into little pieces. But it's something that the Germans developed, the, 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 the emperor, and, and said that we, every German should have, uh, you know, at least uh, one dish of Kaiserschmarrn a day, which is made out of eggs and flowers. It's one of those crazy German things, you know, where everyone has to have the same. And mm. uh, but let's just try it. Mm. That is It should like, be warm. It should be warm. <laughs> yeah, it should be warm. It should be warm. Yeah, it should definitely be warm. I'm glad. No, but this is really yeah. nice. It's just a little, it's a little congealed Kaiser Schmarrn is what it's it is. Fantastic. This, it really this tastes good. This is like good. kind of like the food you when get on the you, runway. When did you, you get this? Here at the Late it? Show Labs, because we always there's, have. There's no one that knows how to make Kaiser Schmarrn. Yeah. I don't know anybody. I remember my mother used to come over and she would stay with me. Um, this was back in the 70s. And she would teach everyone how to make Kaiser Schmarrn and how to make Wiener Schnitzel. It was very funny because she just always felt like the Americans didn't know how to cook and all of that stuff. And I said, no, no, the Americans cook really well. They just don't know how to make Kaiserschmarrn or Wiener Schnitzel right. or, or Leberknödel. Oh, you don't get Spätzle over here. No Spätzle over here. Now, for no. that, you have to go to the Oktoberfest over to Munich or go to Austria. And I've never been. Is that, is that really fun? Or is it, or is it just uh, a mob? No, no, Oktoberfest, well, it has a, hundreds of thousands of people descending uh, on the Munich. I just came actually from there two weeks ago. I was at the Oktoberfest, and in my house, I had a uh, Oktoberfest also on here Saturday. Here in the United States. Yeah, here in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, uh, we have uh, we had the Oktoberfest, which was a fundraiser to raise money for the kids for after-school programs. Mm -hmm. We raised seven million dollars on this Oktoberfest. <laughs> That's lovely. Thank you. But the kids, the kids didn't get any of the beer. I'm hoping the kids did not get it. No, the kids weren't even there. <laughs> they, uh, it was too late at night. But I mean, we, we have those programs all over the United States and we cater to around 150,000 kids. And uh, because, you know, 70% um, of the kids come from homes where both of the parents are working. Mm -hmm. So the parents don't have time in the afternoon that they care of their kids until they get home at night, so between three and six o'clock is the danger zone for kids, which means that's when they get involved in juvenile crime, teenage pregnancy, uh, gangs, drugs, violence, and all of this stuff, which costs society a huge amount of money, the incarceration and all this stuff. So what I felt 30 years ago when I started this program was that we can do better than that in America. We can go and provide programs after the school is over to have the kids stay in school, do homework assistance, tutoring, sports and fitness programs, arts and stuff like that, until six o'clock, until the parents can pick up the kids. So now those kids are safe and getting education. That's lovely. Yeah. That's lovely.